Okay, I'm just going to do a quick little rosining of the bow demonstration to show you how I rosin my bow. Once again, I don't tighten my bow very much. It's about enough for a, one of those little yellow number two pencils to fit through at the narrowest where it where the pencil will touch both the stick and the hair. Most people t tighten too much. So Make sure you're not over tightening your bow. And like I said, I would guesstimate about for every hour of playing, six swipes of your rosin of, on your bow. Meaning one, two, three, four, five, six. So counting both directions as a swipe. Um, but I don't do it in the long swipes. And I think this is personal preference. But I also kind of think I can scrub it in a little bit better. So before I do a rehearsal or a long practice session, I scrub down here really good because it's hard to get the rosin right down to the frog. And if you bang into your ferrule, you're going to chip your rosin. You hear that? That's chipping my rosin. So a little trick that someone taught me, stick your thumb there so that you run into your thumb instead. And that won't chip your rosin. Okay? Alright, so do that. That's a freebie. You don't count those as your swipes. And then I go like one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. So I kind of do this little lightning strike all the way to the tip. And then I give a little extra right at the tip because that's like the frog. It's hard to get the rosin to really dig in and penetrate. And then that's it. That's all there is to it. I loosen my bow if I've rosined a lot. I'll loosen my hair and just sort of tap just to get the excess out. Then you won't get crusty deposits on your strings. And my hair just stuck to my little tape, so watch that. <laughs> okay, that's all there is to rosining your bow.